Hi, my name is Matthew Kufall. I'm a student here at JTEC. So, this is your standard DVOM. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to take it to ohms. It's a little ohm symbol, and we're going to verify that the fuse inside the DVOM is good. So, we take it to 20 amps here, put the positive lead in. We have a reading. Go down to the milliamps. We have a reading there. All right, so that tells us that our fuse is good. Now when we go to test it onto our board here, we know that the, the fuse is properly operating. So, easiest way, red is positive, black is negative. All right, we got it set up that way. So, what we're gonna do now is check our source voltage. Our source voltage, we go from end to end. Our source voltage is 13.6 three volts. Let's go with 16.3 volt correction. 13.63 volts. All right, so our source voltage. Now we're going to go lead and lead. So easiest way, go from here, touch it on the connections there. We have roughly five, roughly six millivolts there across the switch. We have 1.8 millivolts. Now, this line here, we have 32.0 millivolts. Now, our light is our load. So, that should have the most resistance. Most, most, correction, most voltage across it. And if you look, it's 13.55 volts. All right, do our last one here. It is, let's go 16, 16 millivolts. All right, now if you add all that up, you will get our source voltage, which is roughly, like I said at the beginning, the 13.66 volts. All right, now we want to check our amperage. All right, amperage is pretty simple. What you're going to do, take the red, take the red, go down to, always start small, go your way up. So 20 amps. So we're going to go large and work our way down. Boom. Red's on the milli, on 20 amps. The, the switch is on 20 amps. We're going to take out a, one of these cables and we're going to test. Now, our light should come on. Test on the test point there. Go with the test point there. Light comes on. And as you can see, we're pulling 0 0.09 amps. So now we can go down to milliamps. Since we started high, worked our way down, because you try not to blow up the blow the fuse and the DVOM. Test it again. And as you can see, we have 38.3 milliamps. Now, <clears throat> we want to check our resistors. So as you can see, we've got a resistor here. Way to check it. You go back to ohms. The red, as you can see, volts, ohms, RPM. D well and temperature. So bread's back in. We go to the resistor. There's R1. Lead on test leads. And Yep. So this is a 100, uh, we got 100 resistance on this one. We have 99.5 that's good because we know that this re, um, has a slight resistance in it. And that is how you test a DVOM.